think, how do you track your aging? Because, for instance, I, I told you, oh, you look younger and you say, oh, Monty, you look younger. But then maybe my body inside is super old. Uh, I don't know. But I don't see it from outside. Is it any way to track your aging level uh, that normal people without being a scientist uh, that, that we could do? There are. Now, there are different levels of testing. Um, the easiest is just to, to ask how many push-ups can you do? And right. people who are our age typically cannot even do 10. Uh, if you can do 20, you're doing well. But that, of course, depends on practice. There's another test that is good, which is you sit down with your legs crossed and then try to get up without touching your hands on the floor. Right. And if you can do that, you're in very good shape. Uh, most 50-year-olds cannot do that. They have to push up with a hand. Uh, and oh, my goodness. So can... I, I can't wait to do the test. All right. <laughs> I'll yeah, do it. it's really hard because our muscles are losing strength all the time as at our age. An older person in their 60s will often have to get onto one knee uh, to get up. And so that's an easy test. Everyone can do that, you know, today. There's an, another test which is a little bit more uh, you know, difficult, but you can, there are companies that do this. So my, my the company that I use is called Inside Tracker. And if you don't have it in Europe, you can actually upload your blood tests get a doctor to do the blood test inside tracker over here. And, and I'm a consultant and um, an investor in this company. I, I have to disclose, I want to disclose. Uh, but what they do is they, they send a nurse or I mean a phlebotomist to the house or you can have a test and then you get the results back. And what they tell you is here's your optimal range for this measurement. They take about 35 measurements and this is a graph on how you you're doing. Right. Um, and I've been doing that for 11 years and I've been optimizing my body as best I can. Um, how old am I? Well, they calculated that um, the last time I did it, really, I, I was down to 30 years of age by their measurements. So that, that's, that's promising. Yeah. There's a new test which I want to tell you about quickly is that remember I said the epigenome is important yeah. for aging. And in our paper that's coming out in December, we show that we can reset the epigenome, basically push the reset button and restore the hard drive or restore the software. You can measure the epigenetic changes. There's a particular one called DNA methylation. And this is just a chemical that gets added to our DNA as we get older and subtracted. And we can measure those. And if you plug that data into a computer, it can tell you your biological age. And some people are much older or younger than their actual birthday candles. And it, it correlates if you if you don't look after your body, typically you'll be older and vice versa. And you can predict when you're going to die based on that data. 